Konnichiwa, and welcome back to more Japanese campaign. I think, if I remember correctly, Konnichiwa is Japanese, but... Well, it should be, at least. I've got no tech to research, which is kind of odd. Let's go for functionalism. I just click play, and I'll have a couple announcements to make. <laughs> Russia got, goes bankrupt. <laughs> Force me to repay debt, go bankrupt as well. Defensive spending on 50. And well, the announcements I have to make is that I decided to put. Uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, Third Age, which I had a campaign on, on halt. Because I don't feel like playing it. So you can think of Third Age on hold, and I decided to do something instead, which. I will do Darkest Hour and release nations. I can release I knew and Ryukyu. Okay, so I decided to do decisions. Okay, I decided to do what's it called? I decided to do Darkest Hour with. I didn't want to do vanilla because vanilla is kind of eh, a bit boring. But I decided to do. I'm thinking of doing Darkest Hour with... Oh wait, a new capital in the east. While Kyoto has long been the capital of Japan and home to the imperial court, the city of Edo has become the de facto capital. For centuries it has been the shogunate center of shogunate power as well as a casual and administrative center. The emperor will need to decide whether the court should move to Edo and create a new capital or remain in Kyoto and revitalize it instead. So... Uh, it will move the capital to Edo. Fine. Tokyo is the capital now. Um, yes, yeah, so I decided to put Third Age on hold, and instead... I thought we might as well do uh, Darkest Hour with Kazurich mod, which makes a mod that... It's a mod that makes it what would happen if Germany won the First World War. Which is pretty fun, to be honest. Um, just creates a bunch of different scenarios, and... It's just pretty neat, I guess, because if you play Darkest Hour on vanilla, um, what it does is just, well, not only Darkest Hour, but Darkest Hour and, um, well, basically all World War II strategy games, they are fixed on a path. Do I even demobilized? Oh, crap. Why have them, I have them mobilized? Just to mobilize and demobilize real quick, just to check. Ain't no difference there. Okay, then we'll disband all these useless people. Well, that's the disband. Grab. <laughs> and split this in half. Place one there and one to Osaka. Just have to fix my army real quick. Got a small navy of commerce rangers and some transports. They should go back to a naval base. And they'll build a naval base here. Niigata already has one. We'll build one in Tokyo and one in Hakodate. So, yeah, that's basically an announcement I wanted to make. I was a bit busy, so I didn't record too much. Mainly because me being lazy, as well as some other reasons. We are encouraging capitalist. Why do I have these as colony all states? That's what the heck? That's strange. Okay, but uh, how much? Let's have a look. What's the most population? You'll need some clergymen. You have plenty of them. You have decent enough. You can go grab some. You have a lot of them. Yeah, you really need some. Okay, that's fine. 
The great gain comes from Kukara, we must press our domination of Central Asia. This means that Kukara must join a nation, or send forever more subject against British aggression in the nation. So, Kukara is gone. Just this nation. Another great game. Yeah, well, I might as well explain it for all of you who don't know it exactly. Because the great game was something that the British Empire and Russia fought out against. Fought out against each other, basically, uh, during that time. The islands of Sakhalin are a natural extension for holdings on Hokkaido. We must seek to claim these places for the Russians do first. So, Russian... Cool. Who's part of the nation now? Mainly what I wanted to say is that the great game was... Well, Britain tried to expand and they, well, they took these states basically into the... British, what's it called? Uh, British Raj. The Canadian Dominion. So Can Canada is independent. I think. Yeah, it is. Um, and they tried to press west on Persia. So. Basically, they tried to get control of Central Asia as well. And Russia obviously didn't want that because Russia bordering. Uh, yeah, well, bordering them would be bad for Russia. So. I should try to stop that, and well, let's say they were decently successful on that when they annexed Central Asia into their empire. The Russian Empire declares war. What? Oh, crap! Okay, where's my navy? First, I'll order the recruitment of a bunch of more soldiers. <laughs> it's so odd that I just have these recruitment centers. I'm just gonna make it. 18, 20, 29, 34, 40. Oh, come on, 40. 40 infantry. 10, 15, 20 artillery. 4, 8. Nine, ten, engineers, and four, eight, eleven, thirteen, no, fourteen, sixteen, nineteen, twenty dragoons. That well, can be right. I guess I have two too much, but I'll be certain about that. Okay, should be fine. Let's see what the Russians do. Their navy be massive, but <laughs> they be dumb and unload seven thousand soldiers. Oh crap! Okay, increase military maintenance. Get some army tech. Wait a second, here we need to recover some. That's the reason why my troops didn't get reinforced, I think. Because you only get reinforcements when... Okay, I'll d send these two down. Stupid Russians. Since they only have... Oh, they have a lot of man of wars. That's a bad idea. Okay, so retreat, retreat, retreat. Let me get off there. Come on. Crap, six transports lost, but eh, that's not too critical. repel the attack or attackers so to speak yeah this battle is going splendid uh, some revolt in Tuscany and Italy is united wow since when mm, I think I missed something there well whatever 
even focus on our trouble here. Actually, let me just check the region real quick. That's Petrova Pavlovsk region. Oh, that might be a nice addition. Or some their part of Korea. Korea and Manchuria. Why not? Let's go Russia. Justify war. Place in the sun. Build navy. Okay, we got caught. Ah, Thirty-nine ships. Russian navy, would you please get the fuck off? They are moving, but I'm not sure. An end to Russian imperialism. Yeah, indeed, we should end their imperialism. We do military industrial complex. Uh, why not? Uh, end of the dictatorship in Yucatan and change national value. Embrace the ideal of supremacy. need for that? Revolution and counter-revolution. Prestige at least 100 apiece. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, supremacy, dominion, glory. Okay, and can deactivate that, but... That's kind of cool. Yeah, now let's kill them there. No, 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 you don't move. Don't you dare move. <laughs> Get him. Ah, crap. Gotta lose my ships. Some more ships lost, but... Eh. We are on that island, which is good. How can I have Tokugawa nationalist? That's kind of odd. Well, at least I'd say it's kind of odd. Okay, they technically have a land connection, so I can move my troops over there. Replicate if the South Korean Sea is annoying. Russia be having 400 military units. May what's the call Kwang Yu region? How much that would that cost? Kwang. 18. Oh, well, whatever, we'll demand it. And the occupation of Choyu is going on, and we will march on some more troops. I'll try and capture at least that region. So, to push for South Korea, or southern parts of Korea, South Korea doesn't really exist, because. It's not 1950s. Holy shit, the rush, the... Ottomans be having rebel troubles. <laughs> Italy has the papal state, but not Modena. That just makes Italy look odd. Oh, stupid rebels.
They be having a lot of cav. I seriously need to destroy that Russian flotilla. Keep disrupting my unit movement, and they'll do it again. Yeah, they did it. Ah, crap. Why do... Oh, well, this army... This, uh, this army also is not infantry, but irregulars. Uh, they might not be quick enough to stop these guys advancing, but... Ah, uh, crap! Yeah, that's probably a bad idea. <laughs> Maybe Korea will give me more free access. Okay, good. Oh god, I hope you can't hear that in the background. I'd rather just put the music on so loud and <laughs> it'd be kind of bad if you'd hear that. Okay, so this is my let's play, not my mother's music's let's play, I guess. <laughs> I'm just talking shit all, but... Meh. Uh, bad rolls, bad rolls everywhere. I'm gonna have military tactics and creation. Yeah, that's exactly like our army so close to the, th the same. Let's do some railroads. Oh no, 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 let's do navy. Once I have all these ships, I might be able to beat the Russian Navy, or at least deter it from attacking. <coughs> it should obviously be good. Okay, take all my ships. And put them into there. The Russians don't intercept any, that'd be annoying. Annoying Russians. Stop it. Just a small naval skirmish. Chasing my navy with the forty five ships. Eh, thirty forty ships. How good is he? Not that good.
Why are their navy so good? It's just annoying. That's rather inconvenient, so to speak. I'm gonna try and go for naval uh, iron steamers. So I can get ironclads on there, they shouldn't really stand a chance, to be quite honest. Our ships are getting rebuilt. Uh, is there a Russian naval base around here? You know, I think there isn't really, so if they can get repairs, that might be advantage. We might be able to take advantage of that. I think I have a good plan, or maybe at least a decent plan. Let so my navy recover for a couple months, then replace it here, and I'll create, like, I'll prepare to move my troops over to Korea, which then I'll intercept their navy in the Ibakusa Sea, which means they can't stop me from getting over there. Probably will work. Let's use these troops as well. Ah, uh, no, not yet, not yet, not yet. I don't have it. Once they are recovered, because some of these are damaged and damaged ships be not good. Thirty-one troops already. Okay, so one more month, I guess. Now, what's going on in the rest of the world? Not much, I guess. Italian liberation of Lombardia and Prussian liberation of Lower Silesia. So. Everybody's beating the crap out of Austria. And I guess since Russia's at war with the Austrians. Splendid means more occupation. Get them over there. Oh, we get some Russian ships incoming. Okay, so they are getting beaten kind of easily, but where's the Russian Navy? I think the Russian Navy just went somewhere else, I guess. Oh, that's odd. And we get the communist. Oh, death in the soak fields, uh, whatever. The communist agenda. So, communist party now founded. Shut the revolutionary na newspaper down. Move these over there. Come on, finally, just, just die, please. Oh... Crap! There's 40 Russian ships here. Oh, we destroyed one of them. Yeah, they have a lot of... Thomas Raiders. Oh, look, they have a lot of transports. 8 cavalry ships and 50, 17 battleships only, so. They might lose this naval battle, which would be amazing for me. So, at least. Can't. Ah. Squid naval battle that's raging. So, 
my ships be destroyed, but soon their ships will get down as well. Especially the small ones. Where's the Russian Navy going? Yellow Sea. Ha ha ha. We caught them again. For whatever reason, and now they'll suffer a bit more losses. Just awaiting them in the <laughs> so annoying for them. Oh, what the heck? They slipped us. Well, uh, he be having a bit of prestige. He should have some, I guess. Oh well, it's kind of bad. China's army be ridiculously big. Luckily, China isn't really a capable nation, to be quite honest. Oh, also, Prussia is occupying Hanover. Hanover. Oh, Hanover is allied with uh, the Rush. Uh, not the Russians, but the other people. Whatever they may be called. Yeah, well, this is a great victory for us, and the new battle will be victorious as well. I hope, at least. Save a naval base so they might get some repairs, but eh, I don't suspect suspect much repairs. And build, mm, skip all these navy ships. Build navy. Crap, I still haven't discovered ironclads. What does that require? Nothing. Why isn't it? Let's see here then. Hmm. <coughs> well, I can hope we get it soon. And some more Russian ships destroyed. Where are they going? Korea Bay. Die, Russian Navy. Okay, just repair my ships a bit. Socialists be victorious in the Netherlands on trolling the government. It's actually a Russian war goal. All liberation of Primorye. All right. Crap, we're losing. How do all their transports be gone? Honestly, they liberated uh, that island. How annoying can they be? Their small uh, naval blockade just gives them so much war score. Huh. <laughs> Russian Empire wants to annex Modena. That just makes no sense whatsoever. And I only need nine war score, right? Yep. This is kind of infamous right now, so. Meh, shut it down. Holy, 
How much do we still have to recruit? <laughs> Seven, eight, well. It's quite a lot. Eh, they have a naval base there, so we might as well repair our ships there. Or will we get repairs if we do it? Yeah, I think so. Okay, the next Russian army just appeared, but by numbers we are superior. And also by, well, victory kind of here. Georgi Alexeyev against Naryako Kato. We force them to finally beat the Russians. Maybe offering white peace. I'd be saying no. Uh, oh crap, I just pressed letter B. That's a dumb idea. Balance these and just blockade the retreat of that army. So I hope we'll beat the Russians here. Once I can deploy all these armies, it's just a massive like superiority to the Russians that they won't stand in that theater. At least it's, as long as they're at war with Austria, I'm pretty fine. God, they just keep demanding more and more war goals, which means the war won't end rather quick. Argentina is demanding lots of things, so I make it a strong Argentina. Argentina is demanding Chilean Arcania. Oh, maybe demanding the south. So Patagonia, which is kind of nice. Well, decently makes sense. Sorry, they were kind of disputed. And Los Rios. So basically, they want southern Chile. And they be fighting against mm, Colombia and Chile, which means Chile is screwed. If no troops. <laughs> Argentina 60, like, what the heck. Maybe kind of bad. Moroccan reactionaries have reinforced their demands and uh, Morocco is now an uncivilized nation again. And removed two economic reforms, removed military reforms. Huh, that's bad. Establishing a panel colony, which basically is a colony for all the people who have done crime and... Uh, I'd be saying... Yeah, sure, why not? Because prestige and lose militancy, so... Yes. And Noel declined that. Oh god, my phone's ringing. Well, maybe winning this battle and then we'll have Korea under control. Did the army escape to where? Sorry, one. So yeah, anyways guys, since... Well, this will go on for quite some time. This is it for now. And uh, yeah, I shall see you in the next episode. And... We'll probably... Which will probably be uh, Darkest Hour, which I already tried recording for quite some time. But I failed for the last like, two hours. I always failed. And that's got no good footage. But, eh, once I get some good footage, I'll give it to you. The Russians would accept our offer, which is amazing. But we'll have to think about whether we already want that or not. Eh, but we'll probably have to accept it, considering Austria just already is kind of screwed. And they are at war of Prussia and the Russians. So, yeah, we'll have to think about that. And until now, until then, uh, we shall, I shall see you in the next episode. And uh, yeah, I thank you for watching. And, well, as always, uh, whatever I always say, but <laughs> I kind of failed there. But, okay, uh, it's fine, whatever. See you in the next 
uh, video or episode or whatever you want to call that. And yeah, thanks for watching.